Kodesh girl guys, Nexus here, welcome back to Destiny 2! And in today's video, we have another weapon review to do. It's gonna be something a bit different from the last few. We've been doing the old Vex offensive stuff, but this time, this is gonna be a new weapon in terms of it's from the Undying Season, and it's gonna be Plu Perfect. Now, this is another rifle you do get from the Season Pass rewards, so it's the free Season Pass, though. It's not the paid one before people start going, oh, it's so paid to win. It's gonna be from the Season 1 where you get, actually, everyone gets it for free. So you'll see it now. It is level 30 on the normal sort of, like, I don't know, free sort of, band here now when you go to look at the weapon of course this is what the roll is going to be what it says it is anyway but the thing is once you click it from here it will be a random roll you won't get this roll here it will be a random roll that is why my roll i got i'll go into it super quick so blue perfect builds 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 the past this is what it's gonna look like though it looks super sweet now how do you know it's gonna be a good gun when you try to stick color selected on it it makes like minimal difference because color selected is the best shader don't even argue with me on that i'll fight you guys if you think color selected is a terrible shader but as i said this is a random Random roll. It is RPN 360, so it's gonna be high impact frame. For the barrel, I got arrowhead break, which greatly controls our recoil and handling speed. Or we could go for polygonal rifling, which increases my stability. For the magazine, we got alloy magazine, which faster reloads when the magazine is empty. Or we can go for ricochet rounds, which increases stability and slightly increases range. Now I know ricochet rounds got nerfed a bit, but it's still a nice perk on compared to like alloy magazine. For the trade, I got underdog. This weapon gains a boost to reload speed and your health get lower. It's a pretty crappy perk. I mean, it's, it clutches in sometimes, but yeah, the other perk is gonna be mulligan. Missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine. It also came with a masterwork. Now, this wasn't level 10. I leveled it up myself because I thought, oh, range, extra range, and auto, pretty please. This came with a level 3 masterwork, though, so it's not going to come masterwork fully for you guys when you pick it up. Now, as I said, this is a random roll. You can see on the screen now what sort of rolls you can get. Other than this, you can get range finder and kill clip in, like, separate skill trees, which is super cool. Get high cali rounds and stuff. If you're going for the god roll, it'll probably be, like, full bore or something. Just increase range or maybe stability on console. But here, you'd probably want a high cali round, seeing as Eric Shade to get nerfed. For here, it's really between like Zen Moment, Rangefinder, Outlaw. There's a few good perks. I got probably the worst one out of them all with Slideways isn't great either. But I probably got like one of the worst ones. And then the last one, you probably want Kill Clip. But you're probably wondering why are you showing me these random rolls? If I got it once through the season pass, how do I reobtain this to get different rolls? Because you can't get it from collections. So I'll quickly show you guys. So you will see here in the season pass that there is a perk thing called Gambit Auto Rifle Scrounger, which basically lets you get this the auto rifle, the blue perfect, from playing Gambit matches. I think there's another one up at like level 83 or something like that yeah there's the machine gun one there's the crucible version and then i think level 93 is the strike version or something yeah it's level 93 is the strike version the thing is this is for people who bought the season pass so basically you'll knock it level 30 you gotta get to level 73 in the season pass to actually get this thing to drop start dropping it in gambit matches and then obviously like further to crucible and obviously in strikes pretty grindy that's a pretty big grind and pretty yeah kind of annoying if you're not a season pass holder but the main thing is to get your first one you gotta be level 30 and we're here to check out if it's any use even if it's worth all this hassle so without further ado let's go into pvp and try the blue perfect out Alrighty, so we're gonna be on the new map fragment which might actually go well for the old blue perfect Black. i love the name i think blue perfect is it french or something it sounds really french i think blue bar was like french for like to do or rain or something i don't know my french is so rusty i haven't done it in so long but we're gonna throw that there because oh no one actually came but well, you'll see the damage we're gonna put in. Oh my god, okay, we're weak as stuff. But hey, look at that kill. Underdog coming in clutch. <laughs> the one time Underdog might actually be somewhat decent. But the thing about this uh, auto rifle is that it's super slow rate of fire. But it will pack a punch, like 36 damage to a dome. It's always really sweet and stuff. Uh, is there a guy coming from the cave? There's a guy down here. Don't worry, buddy. I've got your back. Yeet, your, yeet, 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 yeet. Thank you for dying. Oh, there's the kill. Honestly, this, uh, this, these auto rifles were sort of my jam at one stage because these things can absolutely destroy in certain maps. Long range and stuff. Yeah, auto rolls in general have kind of not gotten nerfed or anything. And that's a mind benders. But yeah, uh, auto rifles haven't really got buffed and stuff for PvE and everything. But in terms of range, they've always somewhat struggled. Apart from like... <laughs> Hard light, but hard light has no fall off at all. But yeah, apart from that, it's always been somewhat of a thing that auto rifles need the range and stuff like that. So that's why a lot of people might go for range finder. Even kill clip helps at range once you get a kill and stuff. But in terms of this weapon, 360's always boasted really good range. Now I have I have mulligan on, so I can actually kind of pre-fire. I lost to a half done. Oh, he got an extra headshot on me and I've missed. Half Dan's another 360. 360 is the lowest archetype of weapon, like in terms of autos. They do uh, the slowest rate of fire, I mean. So that means that they do a ton of damage. But of course, it takes a while to actually do it. So you'll notice that people might like get away and stuff. But oh, oh no, no. I hate T-Bag shooting. 
But yeah, autos in general now are actually a lot more viable just because of uh, obviously the buffs in terms of PvE and everything damage wise. And obviously the nerf to all the range of like other weapons, it actually makes it somewhat of a more useful. Okay, I need to hit headshots. It makes it so much more useful in terms of if you actually want to go for certain like engagements mid, you'll actually beat certain things. This guy with it. Oh, you're using. Acid. Oh, no, 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 buddy. I need, I, I, I need you to stop. Come on. No, no, no. Oh, thank God someone else was shooting and the guy with an ostring on the left. But hey, you know what? So far, I am liking this. The blue perfect looks great. The sight, I even like just went straight past that. The sight in this is really cool. It's about the season of undying and stuff as it is the season reward and stuff. So I think the whole thing is meant to be Vex team. Well, we want, we want to challenge like men. We want to get these long angles where these guys are going to try run at me and they're going to lose every fight. There's a Halfton trying to fight me. No, sir. No, senor. And the thing is, I am doing pretty well in terms of like... That kills and stuff like that, but I got a pretty terrible roll. I mean underdog and well mulligan's actually really sweet in an auto It's basically like having the exotic uh, Okay, that guy <laughs> Mistakes were made by that dude. But we're gonna pop this but it's basically mulligan's sort of like having active war rig on and stuff like that Can we get this damage in? Oh look at that damage He's gonna dip clearly because he sees me and we're gonna get this guy real quick What I keep missing the domes. I'm, I'm so bad. I'm so bad Tommy you are not having a good day with that bow we're just, <laughs> we're just dipping in and out, dipping in and out, dipping in and freaking out. <laughs> oh, weapons of light. Oh, crap. We lost to a pulse, but weapons of light, man. Oh, it's glorious to have it back. I mean, who needs to be able to just really run around infinitely with a freaking fist of havoc when I can actually just shoot my targets instead? Got here, though. Hey, buddy. That's a nice tether and everything, but... Yeah, tether ain't great unless you hit me with it. Oh, my God. He's going to come beyond. No, no, no. No, sir. That's a, that's a freaking edge transit. I thought it was mountaintop. But the thing is, when it actually does come to auto rifles, Mulligan's a really underrated perk. Mainly because when it comes to autos and stuff. Oh, okay. This guy with a freaking shotgun. When it comes to autos and stuff in general, you're obviously going to have people, like, obviously riding kill clip. Which, I don't blame them because kill clip's obviously a super good perk. <laughs> I mean, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Okay, he's weak. He's weak. He's weak. He's weak. There we go. Woo, we actually got the flick. Oh my god, what is with the shotguns? Stop! In the name of the Lord, stop! Just leave me alone with your freaking shotguns! But honestly, the Blue Perfect could be the renaissance of the old uh, auto rifles because this actually is pretty oh, nice. No. <laughs> oh, there's heavy for your little Roki. It's actually, it feels nice in terms of its media and everything, it's kinetic. As I said, 360s might not play into everyone's playstyle because of how much you have to fire with them and stuff. But in terms of how much damage you can output with these and how much range these actually kind of boast, they're actually pretty sweet. This sort of weapon, though, it's more of a weapon to sit back with in terms of... It's not, like, obviously going to range or map anyone. But the thing about it is that the, its weapon, in terms of intrinsic and everything, it's more to do with, like, obviously sitting back. It's, like, high impact frame, meaning you just sit back and, like, wait for things to happen in terms of, like, extra damage or stability and everything. We're going to pop weapons of light, though, inside of here. But, it, oh, they have to come in here. What? Oh, nice kill, buddy. Okay, so not, where is this guy? Oh, he's waiting here with a frick. Come here, you stupid son of a gun. There we go. I thought I was going to lose that. Um, where does the Spectre Blade, I think, going around again? I mean, we have weapons that like going. Uh, we're actually going to lose. That ain't good. Oh, my God. Oh, you know what? We didn't do too bad, I don't think, altogether. It was okay, map. 34 kills, though, altogether, though. 2.62 efficiency. Actually, really not that bad. All right, all right, all right. We're joining the game in progress because, yeah, they lost the first round. So that guy just said, yup, I'm out of here and just quit. So uh, his team got left with me as a replacement. <laughs> I'm sorry, boys. I'm not great at Gambit. But this is going to be the blue perfect in uh, the LPVP scene or PvE scene. Now, in terms of PvE, I did stick on the active war rigs because any auto in PvE becomes exponentially better when you just got, like, unlimited ammo. Especially with Mulligan on this as well. In terms of if I miss a shot, I'm most more than likely going to get my bullet back. So if I keep on spraying like this, I get, like, a pretty good bit of bullets back. Like, I can probably just keep on going for quite a while. Just because I have both Mulligan and the Act of War going, so I'm getting that, like, really increased chance stuff. But here's a yellow bar we'll test its metal against, and you know what? That's really not a bad tread. I mean, I know it's one of the lower sort of yellow bars, but honestly, in terms of damage, this thing can output some good stuff, good stuff, because PvE uh, auto rifles in general, they get a bit of a buff for uh, Shadow Keep because they were so underutilized in, uh, sh in, like, basically Destiny in general. As I said, Destiny basically nerfed auto rifles, 
Ooh, I don't know when. After Uriel's gift, they were like, we're not having another auto rifle meta. Screw them guns. And absolutely nerfed them into the ground. There was the few outliers like uh, Sura's regime and stuff like that. But other than that, it didn't do that good. But look at that melt. We're getting that guy. Okay, he was getting fired at by two people. But you can't shred some yellow bars with this thing. In terms of like how they fire and everything as well, we'll headshot that guy. In terms of how they fire and everything, in terms of like it's point and click, there's no like, I don't know, not that there's no skill, but it's not as like concentrating. Like you can play PvE more casual with autos. That's what I like about them in terms of, say you want to grind out a strike. You don't want to be constantly like with a hand cannon happen to get those headshots, at least with autos. He's kind of gonna have to sit here and like uh, hope for the best and just keep on shooting. Like I just wasted so much bullets in that one thing. But like, there's no like, uh, there's no like hecticness with auto rifles. And I do love how they deal with mobs. Like they just, they're overall there's a great weapon for PVE. I'm just gonna waste this on this guy though. Another yellow bar though. Should we melt it? Yeah, we will because this thing can just absolutely destroy him, especially with the war rigs on. I can literally just keep firing for freaking days and it makes. It makes such a big difference having the war, uh, Actum War Rigs on. It's the ch exotic chest for newcomers and stuff. I'll actually just show you real quick. It's what it's going to look like. Actum War Rig basically reloads from your reserves when you're shooting an auto or a machine gun. You will see though, with weapons of light and stuff, you can actually just start to spray like 100 damage to Riven or 107. I'm too far away. But with weapons of light, you can actually just, like start to shred. Oh my god, I'm so weak. But hey, Prime Evil defeated. Look at that, boys. We join in and we actually win a game. You know what? I might as well show you the sudden death phase as well because this actually goes by real quick. The thing about uh, this weapon is, as well, is that I don't have the best roll. In terms of rolls, obviously you want rampages and stuff, but if you got like obviously kill clip and stuff, it'd be super cool as well. I just feel like, like even without the greatest roll in the world, this thing's actually pretty damn sweet. It goes in really well. You know what? Though we're gonna actually go over and invade as well, because this uh, this should do some work. You've seen it in the PvP and stuff. It actually could do work and stuff like that. Oh, we'll get this guy real quick. One. This guy's gonna get nervous. Oh. We'll get two. We'll just snipe our way to victory, apparently, because... Oh, oh, this guy needs to die. Look at this. The damage. There's the damage. And we'll get this guy as well. Woohoo! Army of one, boys. Army of one with the pretty perfect sniper combo. Uh, we need to go over and invade pronto because... Oh, no. These are probably going to win it. No, no, no. Oh, we got one. Oh, oh, we got two. Oh, we're pulling it back, boys. We are pulling it back. Come here, little mage and Vegeta. Oh, he res them. He res them. He res them. Oh, we got... Oh, no, no! No! <laughs> he supered me! Guys, I did my best. Come on, melt. Oh, we won. We won. GG, boys. Oh, GG's. GG's in the chat, boys. We uh, we pulled it off. Woo! That's a good way to end the game. But honestly, pretty perfect PvE is pretty damn dope. Okay, so this time we're going to be on Bannerfall with the Blue Perfect, but obviously we're going to be on console this time. And the game mode is going to be Clash as well, and honestly, the Blue Perfect in uh, PvP and PvE has so far has been really good. Like, I mean, in terms of damage and, like, rate of fire, obviously it's just really nice. But damage in this, uh, with this sort of weapon, it goes pretty well in terms of what you can actually achieve. But, like, what? What? Oh, okay, we need to run. I, am I stuck? Oh, my teammate stuck me. Oh well, yeah, look at that damage. I mean, it's pretty damn sweet how much you can actually shred with this thing. There's a guy just chilling here, and I don't know if it's a smoke or it's an actual person. But it seems like it's a guy. Oh, it's a guy with a bow. In terms of ranges and stuff, I think most ranges you really find with uh, these sorts of weapons is kind of close up. And I think also that I have Mulligan on, it really helps out in terms of when I'm going for those. <laughs> when I'm missing so many shots. Now, there's a guy in here. Try to nade. Oh, please tell me I hit him. Oh, we did hit him. And that's a... Oh, Jotun's back. Jotun is back! Oh no! The Crucible's gonna be full again! My god, I forgot that thing was back. The one shot of rune, you're gonna do it to you. But yeah, as I was saying, the auto rifles are actually really good. And when you get, like, the, obviously the ranged, like, sort of maps and stuff like that, I think these will actually go super well because obviously people use pulses, I know, and scouts are pretty popular right now. But this thing can go pretty far, especially if you've got, like, a rangefinder. Rangefinder kill clip would be such a cool combination. Oh my god, that is. That's a lot of people with something that was glowing orange, which usually means heavy, so. I don't know if I want to go in here. I, I really don't know if I want to go in here, but there's a guy there. He's weak and he's dead. Uh, if I had kill clip, it would be super sweet, but I don't, so we can't cry over that. And my god, I just got shredded by an ace. Oh, we're against a five stack. No wonder they're all literally just like holding hands in the corner and stuff. <laughs> oh god, we need, to, uh, we need to get a guy over here, though. There's a guy with a bow. Hey, bow man. Can you please die for me? Thank you very much. Underdog, look at that, coming in clutch. I mean, it's the only time that's ever going to come in handy. And the thing is, though, with this, I'm already going to be reloading unless I get a kill. Otherwise, I'm pretty much, like, dead because I, I don't back out, you know? I, I go for the kill unless I die. Oh, my God. I either get the kill or I die trying. That, that's that's my motto. Pretty good motto to live by, by the way. We get this guy, though, real quick. Oh, my, oh my God. No, no. I got stuck in the freaking box. 
But yeah, again, I will say that this is a really good weapon in terms of just overall feeling and everything. And the recoil really isn't too bad on console. Now, obviously, sometimes I kind of flick down. But in terms of recoil, it's not too... Oh, my God. Whoa, buddy, buddy. Really bad timing to come around that corner. I was like four bullets left. And obviously, with the mulligan, it helps out super well. And I, oh, my God. Oh, you just got jabated into a trap there, my friends. Whoo, wrist in peace. Buddy, there's a guy over there. Can you finish him? Oh, oh God. how is he still alive? Okay, there's a guy up top as well. Look, look at that, the range. How is the guy I put on a bee's dick still alive? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, get this guy super quick before you have to run. We gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta run. Buddy, Sebasto, I'd run if I was you. There's a freaking Dawn Blade right behind us. Oh, I think he's out. Oh, my God. We actually. Oh, he's not out. He's not out. What? Oh, take that. Oh, we hit him for 14. It's like no damage, but it's enough. It's enough for like a tickle. It's enough to tickle fight him. Where is he? Tickle fight. Oh my god, he's full health. How the hell did that happen? No, what? Screw it. Screw it. Oh, oh my god, he's dead. But look at this guy. I need a oh, like you oh. With look at this guy. one. And we need one over here. Oh, oh we got him as well. Hey, we actually got some kills. Oh, and that's freaking Nova War. God damn it, game. <laughs> he used to stop spawning the supers right before my blood. Oh, he's so. He's so. Oh, he's. he's Woo! We actually shot him down. As I said, though, it's actually super good. Is that another super? Oh, my God, it's another super. It's another two supers. Okay, these guys are nearly dead. This, okay. can, we, can we just kill one person? How many bullets do I have to spray in and not kill anyone? Oh, my God. How many supers are they getting? They're like, uh, and they still have two more. Or they still have another one. They literally popped so many supers in the last, like, two seconds. So many people. Can you just take that nade, please, and just eat it? Eat it. Thank you. Someone, he got hit. He got hit. Where is he? Oh, he's there. He's there. Oh, oh my God. How am I alive? I do not know, but he just someone's giving him the call out, so there's a guy gonna chase me super quick. Guy here though, get his dome, please. Can we there we go? Finally actually killed him. Honestly, in terms of just like overall, in terms of like obviously it's aim assist and everything, it actually is pretty sticky too. Like there's some headshots I'm getting where I'm obviously I'm missing a stove. Oh my god, it's people. Woo! There's a double kill. Finally, we're getting some good kills. Look at this. We're just absolutely spraying people down though. I just like all the rifles on console. Actually, do go in pretty well. I mean, I think it's more so that you don't get the oh, like oh, can we, oh, try not. No, oh, he's weak. Oh, we actually got him with the explosion knife. Oh, 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 oh. oh, he missed. That is, I feel bad for that guy because he really should have killed me. But yeah, auto rifles. I think they go in pretty damn well in considering that. Oh, we didn't run. I think they go in better just because there's no hand cannons up close and stuff that are really just shutting me down. And a bow out of all things takes me out of the damn kill streak. We were going in for so long oh blue perfect boys this is this feels nasty and i have a shit roll i mean no other way to, i was trying to think of a different riff for cra like shit like i could have said crap but that doesn't define how bad this roll really is considering that we're doing some damn work oh my god it's so weak take the nade terrible nade it was a terrible nade I, we need to run and that's a yoten above my face the thing is, I can only imagine what this thing will be like with, like, imagine Rangefinder and the old, uh, kill clip. I think that would just be nastiest combo you'll ever see in an auto rifle. And it's definitely, like, the only one I've ever seen that can actually roll like that. Uh, oh, my God, is he really gonna hide? There he is, there he is. Thank you for challenging. Really do appreciate when people are, like, one HP away from dead and they go, you know what? I can do it. They go hero, they go, they go into hero mode and think, I can kill this guy. Because, as I said, it follows the motto. You either die trying to get a kill, or else you, or you either you keep shooting until you get a kill, or you die. That's 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 the motto. It's a great ethos to live by. Oh, we'll do this. Uh, come here, buddy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> so, One minute left. Was he there the whole time? What? Dumb this guy though, real quick, and he just got absolutely wrecked. I mean. Honestly, the damage this thing outputs, and it's actually super quick in terms of what you can actually destroy and stuff. We got him, thank God. Oh, Telesto close. Usually lose them anyway. But man, against the five stack, the uh, the blue perfect on a map that's kind of heavily ranged. We did pretty well for an L auto rifle. I mean, uh, I, I really like this weapon. This is actually super dope. But I mean, we can rave as much as you want, but you got to see performance. Performance and numbers. Numbers stonks. Stonks is what we want. And what do we get? 43 opponents defeated. Not a console 43 kills. Ain't bad at all. We got a 10 kill streak, which is the max 3.58. Well, that's it for me and the Blue Perfect. And honestly, this is probably one of the best legendary autos I've used in Destiny 2 since Ariel's Gift. Ariel's Gift used to have kill clip, though, and this doesn't. I'm telling you, with the good roll, 
This thing will be amazing. I think the range obviously is super good. Now I do have a range master work which helps and Rick share rounds. But if you got like obviously a god roll of this, this will wreck house in PvP. I am telling you. And even in PvE, it'll wreck it and like just destroy people. I mean, this thing was insane. So we're gonna summarize what the weapon is like across the generations or across the consoles and stuff. PC, this thing is it's really good. I will say it's a really good auto. It's, it's still one of the best autos on PC as well. It's one of those 360s, like, obviously, as I said, half and D and stuff, age old bond. They can roll with good rolls, but this, I think, can roll with, like, range run and kill clip. It's just an insane combination. So this could roll with, like, a perfect roll and be one of the best legendaries on PC. But the problem is, is that hand cannons in the range that this kind of dominates or it can dominate, hand cannons are sort of good as well. And PC, they're dominating them, uh, or like hand cannons dominate. In PvE in general, this thing is pretty good. As I said, auto rifles are more, they're more of a casual PvE weapon in terms of they deal with mobs super well. You don't have to do so much like, like, I don't know, sweating. It's more of a like a kick and, click and point or click once and point, which is super nice. And it actually does some really good damage. As I said, if you got a rampage or kill clip, this thing will go in PvE. It'll be pretty good to use. And last but not least, it's going to be console PvP. This thing was amazing. I was on Bannerfall, which is largely a big ass map in terms of range, and I was shredding. I was destroying. I think it's more so, as I said, PC has the hand cannons really good. I think on console, hand cannons aren't used as much, and that bodes super well for autos because autos are super good up close or at mid ranges. I think with a better roll as well, you could do even better because there was multiple times where I got a reload in after killing someone and I could have just shredded the next guy. As I said, to unlock this, you gotta get to rank 30 in the free season pass, and then to get other random rolls, it seems like you gotta get to level 73 on the premium pass to get a chance of it to drop from doing Gamba playlist. 83 to get it from dropping from Crucible playlist and then 93 to get it to drop from the Strike playlist Which seems a bit substantial, but with this auto how good it is It seems like they put it behind the paywall for that reason But regardless if you like the video, show us like and if you want to see more content subscribe and plastic day and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one